Praise the Lord. Glory to God in the highest. And now as we are approaching one of the uh, greatest celebrations of the church, uh, the Feast of Christ the King, I love what the scriptures today show us about the very character of God. In the Revelations, it speaks that he is, he says, I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. Actually, if we would really look into it, those are very profound words. The beginning and the end. There's a song we sing, who, uh, who is the one who sees the end from the beginning? You know, our days are numbered. He knows us. He knows us well. And he is ever to show us his ways. The good news is, brothers and sisters, whatever we go through in life, let us always remember Jesus is the beginning and the end. There are many beginnings and ends in our lives, whether they are in, in our careers, in our studies, in our small projects in, in, in our homes. There are always beginnings and ends, and so is our life, a beginning and an end. But the good news is the, the, the Savior is always with us. I'll repeat that. The good news is that the Savior is always with us. He says when two or three are gathered in his name, he will be there. And he, he is always there. He's omnipresent with us. And in anything, in any situation, we we, let us learn to trust. The one who said that I am the Alpha and the beginning. He who began a good work with us will complete it in that day. We will always see that God is able to restore us. You know, we are people that wander. And if uh, as, lo as, you know, as we age in life, we, there are many points in our lives that we a little wander from our faith or and perhaps even some of us would even backslide. But the good news is, is the Savior always finds his way to restoration. He finds his way to call us back to him. Just as we read in the, in the gospel, he finds ways. Hindi lang banko ang nagpapain ng ways. God finds always because he is the way. He is the way, the truth, and the life. He finds ways to get us back to the fold. Each of us is always the one of the, of the 100 where he leaves the 99 and pursues us. That personality, that, that character is each and every one of us. Because we fall in that category where we also find ourselves straying away. And again, here that we can see the Savior reaching out to us in His love and His mercy to us because He is the beginning and the end. He is all in all in our lives. My encouragement to you, body of Christ, as we enter to this, uh, celebrate this Sunday, a feast of Christ the King, a glorious celebration, let us remember He is the beginning and the end. The beginning and the end, you know, uh, in as much as wakes are not very uh, uh, joyous occasions, but we can see here in every uh, here in, in our in our in our uh, communion, we always have the uh, Christ candle. In in many churches, the the Christ candle is there because Jesus is there, from the day of conception to the day. We meet the Savior again. He is always the beginning and the end. May that encourage us as we celebrate this Sunday that we would see, Lord, whatever uh, aspect of my life, whatever endeavors I get involved with, in, any of, in my career, in my studies, even in my relationships, may I always see you as the beginning and the end. You... You, you lock us up together with you. 
that we may walk in the light of your presence, that we may always see victory in our lives. Victory that even what, no matter what comes our way, we know He is with us. And we will have confidence, Lord, Ikaw naman talaga ang beginning at Ikaw ang end. Alpha and the Omega. Alpha and the Omega. Mathematicians will, you know, blow their minds as what infinity of the, from the beginning and the end. It amazes astronomers as what the universe is. The, uh, if you would look into many of the websites of NASA, how daily they are discovering so much about the universe that they have not seen before. Uh, aspects about, uh, you're talking about light years. You're talking about um, billions, trillions, you know. And, and they're, they're seeing so many things even. And this is what our God is. The greatness of our God he is the beginning and the end. Now, going back to our realm, we can see Him touching our lives, saying, Son, daughter, I am the beginning, I am the end. Have faith and confidence that I will always pull you to me and that you and I can walk in that light and stay in victory. So brothers and sisters, whatever we are going through in life, always remember these precious words of our Savior. Very profound yet very uh, powerful. If we see it applied in our lives, we can have faith to know we are never alone because He is always with us. The Savior is the beginning and the end. May on this coming Sunday, we rejoice, not just with a, a you know, uh, happiness that is temporary, knowing that, again, as we begin another Christian calendar, we journey again knowing that He is with us. And as we cap it again with the, the Feast of Christ the King, we will always rejoice Looking back, knowing He is always with us. He is faithful. God is faithful. And He will truly show Himself strong for those who would trust in Him. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.